Hi viewers, welcome back. Today I am going to work on this uh, Komatsu PC400 excavator. The problem of this machine is uh, not uh, uh, swing. You can see now this time the machine is start. I am going to press this is a swing button. But you can see I push this one. But the machine is not swing. This is a password. We put this one permanent. One, two, three. So this is a monitoring. I will go on the abnormality record. Come on the abnormality record. Okay. Mechanical systems. I get electrical systems. Come to electrical system. Fix. Okay. So here are the code. There are four codes coming. First, I try to delete the codes. Same way. Now is clear the code. I will clear it. He asking reset all. Reset all. Once again. So there are the three codes. These two codes I already know. This uh, their switch has the broken. Therefore, these codes are coming. But I concentrate on my first code. This is a E code, electrical code D X E zero K A. It means L S E P C solenoid open circuit. So this I have to uh, troubleshoot this uh, code. So use by using the sharp malware. And uh, this is a description of the code DX DX E zero K A L S E P C solenoid valve. So failure code is this one. Troubleshoot. So what is the mean of the L S E P C solenoid disconnection pump control system? Okay. So this is a description. You can also check the current of the solenoid this is output to lapc solenoid current valve can be uh, checked with the monitoring functions and code is a 01500 lsapc solenoid current so now i will check also its current uh, through the this uh, diagnostic uh, onboard diagnostic system is there i check if the current is passing or not going to monitoring system we press this four, one, two, three. So this is our monitoring system. I check OK. Enter the monitoring system. And here I put the code. I go down and check one. So this one code. Zero five zero one five zero zero LSLN. I press OK. E to press OK, finish. So I check monitoring. So viewers, you can see this is a one five zero zero one five zero zero LPC solenoid current is seven milliampere. Okay. So we also can check through this computer. Our circuit is open. Power is not coming to solenoid. So I check the connections. Where is the problem? Okay, the resistance of the solenoid. So you can see uh, this is a V19 is the name of the connector. Male side need to check the resistance between uh, pin number one and two. And resistance should be seven to fourteen um, ohms. This is a connector number one nine. Okay, nineteen number connectors. So I am going to check the resistance. So I put this uh, connector I have made specially for checking the resistance. So I fix uh, on the uh, solenoid side and I will put my multimeter and check the resistance of the solenoid. So here I fix the multimeter and you can see the resistance of the solenoid is in 8 to 9 ohms. So resistance should be 7 to 14 ohm so it's mean our resistance is okay it means solenoid is a, a good one 
स्टेप नंबर टू एज आ द कनेक्टर नंबर सी पी जीरो टू फीमेल पेन नंबर सिक्स एंड वी नाइनटीन फीमेल पेन नंबर वन द मैक्सिमम रेजिस्टेंस शुड बी वन होम as you can see this is the back side of this seat inside the cabin this is our controller pump controller okay and here are two connectors one and two and this side this small one this one is a cp this is a cp 02 i will remove this one i will remove this one and check the uh, connections between the pin number 6 of this connector and uh, solenoid connector side v19 pin number 1 so i will check the connect connectivity but i will remove this connect uh, this connector and check the continuity okay so this is the back side inside the cabin back side the uh, operator seat this is the controller pump is here so viewers you can see i make the connections you know this wire is coming outside from the connector number v19 and this uh, my multimeter lead one is connected to this one and here is my multimeter i put in on the continuity put on the continuity and my second lead this one second black one is going to the uh, connector number c02 pin number 6 you can see uh, the there is no continuity this mean uh, there is a discontinuity between uh, this connector CP02 and V19. So I check where is a wire is broken. Uh, this I remove this is sleeve from this wire. So you can see this happened. This wire is broken. So I have found the problem. So I will repair this uh, harness. This wire will repair and then check the code has gone or not. Okay. So now I have a. Uh, fix back all the connections and now i'm going to on the machine and checks my code is coming or not now machine is going on now machine is on so to put the password this is a password okay so i'll go to the abnormality code system Looks okay. Electrical. Looks okay. So you can see one DX E E zero K. Now is not here written E like this. Here is written E red light. Here is no written E. It means my code is a problem is solved. Okay. So now is th these two. actually this code is coming because i open the connectors therefore this code is coming now before here written was the uh, e in red words like this okay so now this code has gone is now is in log now i will delete this code how we can delete i put code again so now here is written uh, clear so clear the code i have cleared now reset all i put reset all okay again so now you can see viewers now is a, this code already i before told you this code are because their switches were broken my code is d x e 0 k a is finish now is no code more okay now i will i check the i go to the monitoring system i will go to the monitoring system i zero one code this one this is a coming i check it's a monitoring system okay i put yes sorry so viewers you can check it's now current is a 
900 almost 900 million pair mean 1 ampere before here was only 7 million pair current no code has gone now hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share this video to your friends